Hello, this is Cody Havard with SportRivalry.com, and today we will be looking into the intense football rivalry between the Missouri Tigers and the Kansas Jayhawks, also known as the Border War or Border Showdown. Let's join Sport Rivalry Man on a journey through the history of the Kansas-Missouri rivalry. This historic rivalry has roots in the Civil War era when the two states waged a violent feud from 1854 to 1861 over the issues of slavery and popular sovereignty. During the feud, large portions of western Missouri were burned by Kansas forces, referred to as Jayhawkers. Two years later, forces from Missouri raided Lawrence, Kansas, home of the University of Kansas. The first college football game between these two teams was played on Halloween in 1891 in Kansas City, Missouri, a city that resides in both states. The two schools would meet each year in Kansas City until 1907. The game was then played in various locations or on the institution's campuses until the rivalry returned to Kansas City in 2007. In 2004, in an effort to distance from negative wording and behavior, the rivalry was changed to the Border Showdown. However, many still refer to the game by its former name. One of the most notorious games in the rivalry came in 1960. Going into the game, Missouri was ranked number one in the country with a record of 9-0 and, and boasted one of the top defenses in the country with three shutouts and allowing only one team to score double digits. Kansas was ranked number 11 in the nation with a record of 6-2. and two. Both of their losses came from teams ranked number one, making Kansas the first team to play against three number one ranked teams in the same season. Kansas had a strong defense themselves along with an outstanding backfield. During the game, the tough defenses of the Tigers and Jayhawks did not disappoint as the game remained scoreless at halftime. Kansas struck first in the second half with a field goal and went on to win the game by a final score of 23-7. Following the game, Kansas would go on to win the Big A championship. However, a Jayhawks player was ruled ineligible due to allegations that he was illegally recruited by Kansas. As a result, Kansas had to forfeit the game to Missouri and Missouri was granted the Big 8 championship. The 1960 game remains controversial and there is still a debate between the two teams over who should receive the win for the game. So, depending on which team a person supports, the rivalry has different overall records. Either Missouri holding a 57, 54, and 9 advantage or owning the overall mark at 56, 55, and 9. More recently, Missouri has been the dominant team, winning five of the last six games. The two teams have not played each other since 2011 due to Missouri's departure to the SEC. However, this game remains a very heated rivalry, even if dormant for the time being. Our lesson in rivalry introduces us to social identity theory. Social identity theory suggests that the groups we associate with say something about us as individuals. If we identify with a successful group, it can make us feel and appear successful. After all, don't you like to identify with a team following a big win? Thank you for your time. This is Cody Havard with SportRivalry.com, signing off.